Yeah, speaking of spitballing, um, today I'm not even going to bother uh, drawing something out of the hat. Today I'm just going to pluck out something that no one really gives a crap about. I am going to play an old Genesis game. This is the splash art for, obviously, Gen S32. It's an awesome uh, application. Okay, it's not really as awesome as Kega Fusion, but it doesn't stream very well, unfortunately. It consumes way too much memory, and my computer just can't handle the XSplit as well as Gen S32 being streamed at, at the same time. Yeah. Hopefully FF, FF Split will be ready for prime time in the future. I'm hoping. I'm praying. I'm getting tired of XSplit. <clears throat> it's a pain in my tuchus. <coughs> Makes me want to spit. They say spitting is a nasty habit. It's probably true. Doesn't help that I started, th started this about, started this nasty habit about 12 years ago. But I got a nasty little bit of food poisoning from a local Kroger. Got some nice fish sticks. Had a nice little dinner. Had some orange juice along with the fish, fish sticks. I don't know if that was considered a bad idea or not, but either way, ah, there was a bit of a problem. Got some food poisoning was vomiting all over the place and while blowing my nose actually no that was before uh, the first time I started spitting as a habit that actually started a, about eh, 2002 so it would be around 10 years since I started I was blowing my nose one night while trying to go to sleep because I had a really nasty nasty cold And I felt like, while I was trying to blow my nose, I, I felt like I had a little misfire. And when you're trying to blow your nose, you're trying to sort of grab, you're trying to use your, your nostril muscles to, I can't believe I'm trying to use my hands when there's no camera on me. <laughs> when you're trying to use your nose muscles to grab a hold of whatever you're trying to blow out and you're blowing it out and suddenly it lets go and you're blowing nothing but nothing but dead air something slips and you blow out dead air when you're when you got this huge huge gust about to push out of your nose and then suddenly it slips and you're blowing out nothing but air that fucking hurts misfires fucking hurt And at the time, I thought that that was the cause of what eventually became my case of bronchitis. I had to suffer a week of not being able to talk except except in this raspy voice like I've been smoking like eh, maybe a maybe uh, a dozen marlboros an hour. I had to talk like this for a whole week. It was not fun. Every time I tried to talk, it hurt really, really bad. There was actually a cashier that was starting out at my job. She thought I always talked like this. And then eventually I got better. And she was like, oh, you can, you can talk. It shocked the hell out of her because she thought that I, she thought I always talked with a raspy voice. <laughs> 